Physics is all around us. From the light you need to watch this video, the sound waves reaching your ear, the electronic devices in your home, and the movements of cars and people, to the motion of the electrons in the atoms. Although no one can tell exactly when the first glimmerings of what we call physics appeared, today and in the future, the importance of understanding and fully utilizing the potentials of physics can determine what direction humankind will take. Physics begins with measurement. Measurement plays a vital role in life. We use it in almost everything we do. When we buy goods from the grocery or go to a filling station, we ask for measured quantities. Physics is a quantitative science, and precise measurement lies at the very heart of physics. So what is measurement? Measurement is simply a comparison with the standard. To carry out accurate measurements, it is necessary to establish a system of standards and a system of units in which to express the standards. Suppose we wanted to measure the length of the board. So we say a board is 350 long. But numbers by themselves don't make sense. And when we say a board is meters long, units by themselves don't make sense. To make sense, all measurements need both a number and a unit. Measurement is simply a process of comparison. Example, when you say that the height of a tree is 4 meters, you compare the measured height with the standard, which is the meter. So a height of 4 meters means that the tree's height is 4 times of a standard, which is the meter. Let us say you like to measure the length of your room. Do you know how big is your room? If you don't know, what should you do? Of course, you should get a meter scale or tape measure for that. You will then measure the length of your room. But do you know how ancient people measured lengths of objects? Did you have a ruler with them the way we have now? No, the ancient people didn't have meter scales and measuring tapes. Instead, they measured length in other units like foot, yard, hand spans, cubit, etc. All depending upon the length of our body parts as shown in the picture. Did ancient people face any problem while measuring length using such units? Everyone's body parts are different. The feet, hand spans, and the arm lengths are bigger or smaller in different people. So if we measure the length of objects like chairs or tables using the body parts, we will definitely get different readings in each measurement. So will it not be confusing? To avoid such confusion, units of measurement were standardized, which was about 200 years ago. There are two systems that carry different standardized units. First is the British or English system, and second is the metric system. English system was first developed in England and later became widely used in the US. It is also known as FPS system, derived from the names of the standard units of length weight and time the standard units are the following foot pound and second respectively 
Other units in this system includes the inch, yard, mile, pint, and etc. as shown in the picture. On the other hand, metric system originated in France and is also known as International System of Units, abbreviated as SI units. Some of the units are meter, kilogram, seconds, as shown in the picture. Metric system is considered as a better system of measurement because, unlike the English system, this system was carefully planned. The System International, or SI, which is based on the metric system, is universally adopted by scientists. In our case, we will use the SI system because measurements are easily understood by all scientists and measurements in metric units are easier to convert than in English units. I want you to observe the following questions. We might have regularly encountered these questions in our daily life. These questions refer to quantification of a particular thing. The distance we travel is measured in meter or kilometer. Your mass is measured in gram or in kilogram. Your temperature is measured in Kelvin or Celsius. And the time we follow is measured in minutes or hours. But what are these quantities? These quantities are known as physical quantities. The physical quantities can be classified into two types, fundamental quantities and derived quantities. When we say fundamental quantities, these are quantities that are directly measured and cannot be expressed in terms of other quantities. While derived quantities, these are combinations of fundamental quantities. For example, the speed, which make use of two fundamental quantities. These are length and time. Other examples of derived quantities are area, volume, speed and velocity, as shown in the picture. There are seven fundamental units in the SI system. Each quantity has corresponding symbol and a corresponding specific unit, as shown in the picture. But for this episode, we will focus only on mass, length, time, and temperature. Let's go first to length. Length with the symbol of small letter L. It refers to the distance between two points. It does not matter if it is width or height. All are length measurements. For example, if you want to measure your body length, you should find the length between your head and your toe. The SI unit of length is meter. Other units are millimeters, centimeters, kilometers. Let's go to the second one. Mass is the quantity of matter contained in a body. Mass is a basic property of matter. The SO unit of mass is kilogram. Other units of mass are centigram, milligram, grams. Time is simply the duration between two instants or events. The SI unit of time is seconds. Remember, the symbol of time is small letter T. Lastly is temperature, with the symbol of capital letter T. It refers to the measure of how hot or cold an object or substance is based on a comparative scale. Scientifically, Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a system. Thermometer is used to measure temperature directly. The SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. Other units of temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit. 